now let's come to the second scenario that is sex linked genes sex linked genes are what that is some characteristics influenced by genes carried on the sex chromosomes for example in human males are heterogametic because one is x other is y females homogametic both are x males are also called as hemigycus because they has one copy of x and one copy of y that's why they called hemigycus hemi and the females are homogametic now in such cases the genotypic frequencies at equilibrium are p uh, p and q for males earlier you know let me type it uh, write it first frequencies for male will be p and q earlier you know that the allele frequency should be p and q and the genotype frequency should be p square to p q and q square but you can see here yeah, that is hemigigous it is heterogametic so the geno genotype frequency for this will also be p and q but for the genotype frequency for female that will be p square to pq and q square for the heterogametic so this is for the female and this is for the male so let let it make let's make it simpler male let's say there is one allele a and the maybe the recessive is small a so it can be this or this because sex link means this is x link so maybe so let's suppose this frequency is q p and this frequency is q but in case of female suppose same alleles a and a it can be x a x a it can be x a small a it can be x small a x small a so it is dominant so we can we know that it is p square it is q square where it is one small a that is 2 p q right so remember the thing for homogametic the genotypic frequency will be p square to p q and q square as in human female and for heterogametic as in human male the genotypic frequency and the allelic frequency both are p and q where is in homogametic the allelic frequency will be p and q here is a equal to p and small a q that the frequency here is also the allelic frequency is same but the genotypic frequency for the homozygotic is different and heterozygotic is different now come to the polyploidy the third part polyploidy means organisms that have more than two sets of chromosome earlier it was n equal to 2 so it was diploid now let's say now suppose n equal to 4 that means tetraploidy so the earlier it was equation was p plus q equal to 1 and p plus q square equal to 1 square why because n is equal to 2 diploid now tetraploid so p plus q to the power 4 this will be the equation so you can tell that how will be the genotypes like let's say two alleles a and small a earlier it was a a a small a or small a small a right because it was diploid 
now it is tetraploid so the genotypes will be four capital s capital a capital a capital a small a capital a capital a small a small a or capital a small a small a small a or all four small a anything else no i think so how will be the frequencies the genotypic frequencies let's say the allelic frequency of capital a is p and allelic frequency of small a is q so here you can see p four p's are there so it will be p to the power four here you can see two three p's are there and one is q so p cube into q here it will be 2p and 1q so p square q square here will be 1p and 3q that is p q q that is 4q so q to the power 4 but remember a small a was not pq it was 2pq right so here it will be p to the power 4 but it will be 4pq 6p square q square and 4pq because here will also be p plus q equal to 1 now you have to do p plus q whole to the power 4 equal to 1 so you will get p to the power 4 plus 4p cube plus 6 p square q square plus 4 p q to the power q plus q to the power 4 equal to 1 so i hope it will be useful for you to understand the extension of hardy equilibrium thank you friends